Hi there, direct photography, Alec Watson. Today I'm gonna to show you how I use the liquify tool in ACDC's Ultimate 2020 to lengthen necks and add volume to hair. So this is part B to that photo shoot I did with my friend Manuela, the photographer who sat in fantastically well as a model. And in that photo shoot, if you need to go back and check it out, what we did was uh, photographed her in a doorway. The idea to be able to emulate kind of like the light coming from a softbox, but just using outside in a doorway to get away with that so we could have great lighting for free. And so what I wanted to do with that shot, because I shot it from above, which was just something difficult that I had to do with the angle, she ended up with kind of a shortened neck. And so I thought, you know what, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna show you on this photo how I use the liquify tool to lengthen necks. It's gonna take a couple of seconds because it's a raw file going into the edit suite. It's coming from another building uh, where my server is. ACDC Ultimate 2020 is fantastic at keeping track of all my photos, whether they're on separate drives on my server in another building in the studio over here. It's easily the best piece of software I have ever used to do this. So like I mentioned, one of the things that I noticed about this photo is that I ended up giving her a short neck and that's because shooting from above, it pushes the chin down. So she loses at least an inch off her neck because of the angle of the photo. I had a friend ask me, Alec, how do you lengthen necks in photos? It's often done in fashion. I, on, I honestly don't like manipulating people with, uh, with warp tools or liquify tools. I like to keep things really na as natural as possible, but when I have to, this is how I do it. So my, my friend that was doing it wanted to basically cut their head off, uh, push it up, and then paint in the neck in between. There is a really, really easy answer to doing this. So we're going to go in and we are going to click on liquify, which is down here. Before I do that, I'm gonna be making adaptations to the original image. I always like to keep an original around just in case. And there's the duplicate down there. If you're ever wondering what any of these are, just hover over them for a second, it'll show up. There we go, I'm gonna duplicate that layer. Now, I'm only gonna work on this layer here. If I ever have to backtrack, I can go back to the original. So we'll go in and we will liquefy. So as I said, rather than cutting off poor Manuela's head and lengthening it and then trying to figure out how to fix all the hair, one of the easiest ways that you have for creating a longer neck is to pull the collarbones down. And by simply pulling the collarbones down, and what I wanna do now, you can see this is my circle. This is where I would pull it down. Around the outside of that is this dotted line. That is kind of a, a feathering effect to make it not quite so obvious. We do not want the feathering to hit her chin. Okay, there we go. Because it'll pull her chin down and we're not after that. There we go. So that's where her collarbone meets her sternum. We just drag that area down. And literally, I just gave her a one inch longer neck and didn't change anything on the photo. And I know that seemed overly simple, but I think it's just the fact that that's counterintuitive. And then the other thing that I would probably do while I'm in here, I would just slightly narrow her neck. Now up where her neck meets her chin, we, just, we do the same again, but we're just going to follow the line of her chin. So I need to move the stroke that way. So I push down and I move towards the point of her chin. We can do the same over here, just following the line of her chin. That way it doesn't affect her chin. And bam, she has a longer neck. If we need to, if we're not sure, we can show previous. There we go. Longer neck. Didn't change anything. Just counterintuitive. Okay, while I'm in here, this is something I do often, is hairdressers love big hair. That's what all the products used for. So we can help them out. We can just take these curls and just give them a little push in the direction in which they were already going. And the hairdresser will love you for that. I'm not, I'm not like photoshopping the person in any way. I'm just making their hair bigger in a way that it could have been bigger if a hairdresser was on set. And then there we go. Now, one place where you can also often add a little bit of volume which the hairdressers will love you for, is up near the top of the head, up here. 
just a little bit of lift. And that fixes a whole lot of back combing. There we go. A little bit of lift in her hair. Fantastic. There we go. I have photoshopped, I've liquefied, sorry, I call it Photoshop. <laughs> have I been doing that? <laughs> My apologies. Photoshop has become a verb, hasn't it? There we go. I have liquefied. And one thing I like to do last is I blur my eyes and I look at the overall photo and I go, does it feel balanced? You know what, I'm, I have a hole here somehow. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push the hair back into here. There we go, and click done. That will apply that to that layer. It'll drop back to the edit suite and now I can turn this on and off. There's my original, there's my voluminous volume and two inches longer neck changing very little and I did it was really easy to do with the liquify tool and I didn't really change her in any way and I'm all good with that if you got something out of this video please click like if you want to be kept up on what we're doing for new videos I'm gonna be shooting all sorts of things uh, make sure you subscribe uh, and if you've got any questions about this or you want to see some other things that interest you or you wonder about Go ahead and leave a question in the comment section and I will be monitoring that and happy to answer questions for you. In the meantime, get out, take photos and make the world a better and more beautiful place.